under. There you go, this is our barrel in mental ray. You can see that it is still low poly, but once you press three, it's a smooth preview and therefore you can see that it's smooth as well. And let's just do some really basic lighting. So I'm gonna create a quick little light. So I'm gonna do a spotlight. Panels look through selected. This is going to be my sun. So just a little bit of color. I mean a little. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do a 10 pin number, three drop off, and I'm definitely gonna soften my shadows. This is in mental ray, so use ray trace shadow. So let's go ahead and do 0.3 and let's do 30 shadow rays and one ray depth limit. Let's go back to our perspective and see what it looks like so far. We can always do a preview, by turning on the light and then turning on the shadows. It's gonna be very yellow. Let me take a look at my outliner. Spotlight, middle mouse and drag. Maybe a little bit more like this. Let's turn on. There you go. Let's create another light, another spotlight. Look through selected again. This time it's going to be on the other side. Think of, think of it like studio lighting. And this is going to be our sky. I'm gonna turn off my ray tree shadows. And this is going to be sky blue. Again, just soften the penumbra. There you go. Perspective. So under that, let's see. Woo, you see that? Gotta fix that. And one more. Create light spotlight. This is gonna be the ground. So I'm gonna go down here and just kinda go below it. I'm gonna turn my intensity down a little bit. I'm gonna turn off my shadows as well. My penumbra angle is gonna be 10, drop off three. And this can be like the ground. Some people like to make it a little bit brownish. This skylight needs to be maybe 0.4. It should be too bright. It should be brighter than the sun. It is supposed to be the sky. Grab the spotlight and maybe just make it a little warmer and a little brighter. So the reflection. That is the reflectivity. Whoops, I somehow increased it to 0.9, which would explain why it looks like a mirror. So let's go ahead and reduce it to 0.1. And let's render that. All right, so that was a quick run through on how to create a barrel. The nice thing about this is you can duplicate it and move it aside and get a friend. As always, I highly recommend that you go ahead and create an occlusion layer so you can throw it on top. Um, if you want to fix a little bit more of the specularity, I mean, you can just tweak it to your heart's content, but we can always just make it a little bit sharper and maybe not so bright. Okay, so we have our three lighting. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna select the camera. Go over here and just change the environment to some sort of sky color. And I also wanna turn on indirect lighting final gather. Let's turn that on. I'm just gonna leave it at default. So go to my common and change my Resolution from 640 by 480, which is my grandmother's television, to HD. Okay, so this is my barrels in HD with final gather on. This is what it looked like before. Whoops, click on the one one here. This is what it looks like in HD with final gather. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful and helpful. Um, we learned how to do color, specularity, and bump, and also some Photoshop tricks. Expect more texturing and lighting coming up, and I will see you next time.